Hi, my name is Michael Taylor. This is my presentation for FL-111B on Emperor Maximilian I. Emperor Maximilian I is a prominent historical figure throughout Germany and Austria. The father of the Landschnext is renowned for his various political and social reforms within the empire, as well as expanding their power and influence. With figures and illustrations of he and his progeny's likeness littered across the region, it is believed that Maximilian had around 200 portraits, busts, and statues commissioned in his lifetime. He also founded one of the longest reigning dynasties in the history of the world, the Habsburgs. It is hard to deny that Maximilian I is one of the hallmark individuals in the history of Germany. Born at Weiner Neustadt on March 22, 1459, the eldest son of Emperor Frederick III, Eleanor of Portugal, he was named after a minor saint whom his father believed had visited him in a dream. As a child, he endured a siege on Vienna at the hands of Albert VI, Archduke of Austria, his own uncle, and fled as the city was captured. Although Albert died the very next year with no heirs, so his lands fell back in the hands of Frederick III, his mother, Eleanor of Portugal, died in 1467, when Maximilian was only eight years old, although it is reported that their relationship was lukewarm due to the fact his mother only spoke Portuguese. Maximilian was described as being a difficult student, with his contempt for academia stemming from his hatred for his tutor, Peter Engelbrecht, who is recorded as having a preference for corporal punishment by historian and imperial counselor Johannes Cuspianus. This pushed Maximilian to excel in physical tasks and rigor. As a teenager, he developed an almost obsessive interest in the concept of chivalry, weapons, and warfare. This supposedly disturbed his father a great deal. Maximilian also developed a penchant for drinking and women during this period, as most boys do. Frederick III thus forbade him from participating in the 1474 Burgundian War, as he was afraid his reckless nature would get him killed. After the failed siege of Neuss on behalf of Charles the Bold, Frederick secured a marriage between Charles's daughter, Mary of Burgundy, and his son, Maximilian, in 1477, thus cementing the political alliance between the Empire and the Duchy of Burgundy. That same year, the future Holy Roman Emperor took part in his first military campaign, this being the beginning of the Austrian-Hungarian War. This would turn out to be a disastrous endeavor as the Holy Roman Empire did not possess a force that could realistically contend with the Black Army, which was a large standing army of mercenaries at the almost exclusive beck and call of King Matthias of Hungary. This would be a lesson not easily forgotten by Maximilian, as his Landschnecks were created under the same principle. The Austrians lost a significant number of lands and holdings to the Hungarians, including Vienna and Wiener Neustadt. Shortly thereafter, Maximilian assumed control over his wife's domains in Burgundy, modern-day Netherlands. Though the task before him was great, as King Louis XI of France had been eating away at the Austrian border within the region, Maximilian was to raise an army in defense of these holdings, but he was practically destitute as the Hungarian wars had emptied the empire's treasury. Despite this, he managed to muster enough troops to retake a few municipalities and deliver a defeat to the French at the Battle of Guinegat in 1479. Though this would all be in vain, as Maximilian attempted to assert absolute control over a country who up until this point had enjoyed the freedoms of relative autonomy from larger states, this caused civil unrest as the native populace did not appreciate their new lord regent's dismissal of their long-held traditions and social systems. To compound this issue, Maximilian's wife, Mary, died in a horse-riding accident in 1482, thus severing any tangible connection to the region. And due to a stipulation in their marriage contract, he was unable to inherit any of the lands in Mary's name. These factors ultimately culminated in open revolt that resulted in two provinces being relinquished to the French, as well as Maximilian and his son Philip being taken prisoner by Flemish rebels for a short period before their eventual release. In 1486, Maximilian abandoned Burgundy in preparation for his inheritance of his father's Austrian lands, leaving the region under the thumb of Albert of Saxony, who went on to quell two rebellions and stabilize the state. On February 16, 1486, Maximilian was elected King of the Romans and later held a coronation in Aachen. He now turned his attention to reconquering the region's loss during their war with Hungary. Fortunately for Maximilian, King Matthias passed away in 1490 with no heir fit to rule. Thus, civil war erupted in Hungary, allowing Maximilian the opportunity he had been waiting for. 
He began his war by retaking much of the land lost in the previous conflict from the Hungarians with little resistance. Maximilian captured Vienna in 1490 without siege, as the city's garrison had already fled. He continued his campaign into Hungary, and much to his surprise, he was readily accepted by a large number of the nation's highest-ranking nobility. Within seven weeks, he had a little less than a third of Hungary under his control. This victory, much like many of Maximilian's, was short-lived as he did not have the financial resources to continue his war efforts. He returned to Austria and conquered the remaining territories held by Hungary. Then, suddenly in 1493, his father Frederick III passed away, making him the de facto Holy Roman Emperor. As the new supreme ruler of the land, Maximilian implemented numerous policy changes in taxes. In 1495, he created the governing body, the Imperial Chamber of Justice, which was to function as a judicial arm of government, by presiding over legal matters within the state. He also introduced a new governmental wing, the Aulic Council, in 1497, which was to be mostly independent from the influence of the monarch. Although Maximilian supposedly despised the creation of these bodies as they limited his power, Maximilian also created a new tax known as the Common Penny, which was to be levied exclusively for use by the military. In 1500, Maximilian began to participate in the Italian Wars. He was never truly successful in any endeavor during this war, as he was too poor to muster a force that could take any ground or hold a pitched battle. It was because of this that during this time he earned the nickname Maximilian the Moneyless. In his later years, Maximilian fell back into his childhood obsession with chivalry, holding numerous tournaments, although these were more akin to a modern recreation of a tournament, where a man-at-arms goal wasn't to take as many prisoners as possible in a no-holds-barred group melee, rather it was to impress the crowd with showmanship and the quality of one's armor. The majority of Maximilian's attention fell on securing a successor, who was his grandson, Charles. This was due to the fact that his only son, Philip, had died in 1506. Finally, on January 12, 1519, Emperor Maximilian I passed away in Wells, Austria, after suffering an alleged stroke because a portion of his entourage were not granted rooms to stay for the night at a local inn. 